So a young girl just moves to New York City. Her first job, she's working for like Bear and Stern uh, Investment Banking Corporation. She goes out for a job, very naive. Around Central Park, should she be able to carry a concealed weapon to avoid being raped in mid-daylight? Pulling the trigger on a gun, I mean, people people who've never shot a gun would probably think to themselves, oh yeah, I pull the trigger, you know, because you have to, it kills this person. But if you ever shot anybody, and I don't know if you ever killed anybody, I haven't, but I've known people that have and so forth, you know. And I'll tell you, it's, it's, it's like different, you know, you can imagine too, you don't even have to be anyone that's shooting, when you can imagine, if you pull the trigger and you end a human life, I mean... It's a different world. You're, you're, you're a different person, you know? I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of police officers that say the same things, too. When they had to do it, they had to do it in the line of duty. But don't think that they just totally ignore that, and it's like out of their day. It's not like the TV shows. United States, what are your thoughts on that? Well, and subways, for example. Oh, subways, uh... You know, I mean, the only reason I'd see for concealing a weapon and being a private citizen is so you don't panic the public around you. That's understandable. But I wouldn't be panicked if I saw a man or woman walking down the street <laughs> with a simple firearm attached. What about people living in New York City, like the young college graduate who uh, is a female and lives in New York and is jogging around Central Park? Should they be allowed to carry a gun? Our guns are kind of heavy. Well, I know the. Should people be allowed to uh, carry concealed weapons? Well, you know, there's a gun is a lethal means, you know, to get rid of a perpetrator. There's also non-lethal means. I mean, I know some people uh, see the gun as, you know, instantly pull trigger, bang, that person's not going to bother you anymore. But you can also use pepper spray as well. Pepper spray is a good alternative. Puts down most attackers. I had a friend who actually got hit by pepper spray, and he only got hit by a small amount of it in the wind off a little bit of clothing, and is enough to... And he was a, he's a big boy, too. And it actually put him out of commission for, for a little while there. And um, he still lived, you know, whereas a gun will... Depends who you are. I mean... I, I, I believe that, you know, special agents and so forth, police should be, should be able to, of course. I mean, especially undercover, where they already do. Um, as far as private citizens, now I believe in the right to bear arms, but if you're hiding a weapon, then chances are you're hiding more intent than, than meets the eye if you're hiding that gun. 